this is the real Tom Rose, and let's go through and basically verify um, which of these is true. Um, so the first one, um, we can derive, and you need to kind of be a detective here, right? So these are not things that you're going to have memorized. You're going to have to figure them out, kind of. But we're not going to figure them out from scratch. We're going to figure them out using uh, little clues. So this, the clue for me here is that this looks an awful lot like the Pythagorean theorem, which is a super, you know, it's one of geometry's best known theorems. And we're dealing with a right triangle. So it seems pretty practical that we might use that. So we know um, Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But what we want is to solve for c. So if we solve this for c, what we need to do is take the square root of both sides. And what you get is c equals a squared plus b squared under a radical, which is exactly what we have in one. So one does work. Actually, I'll put my check marks over on the left here. OK, well, how about the second one? Um, b over cosine theta. Well, I don't really know anything special about b over cosine theta. Um, but I'm not sure how to evaluate that either. So I'm going to take, again, I'm going to take a guess, and I'm going to make an educated guess, which is I know I need to generate cosine theta. So let's just uh, write out the definition of cosine theta and see if that yields us anything. So the definition of uh, the cosine of an angle when it comes to a triangle is that is equal to the proportion of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So that will be equal to b over c. Now again, just like with the Pythagorean theorem, we really want to solve this for c. And when you do that, you get c equals b over cosine theta. This is exactly what they have in statement two. So that one is also true. Uh, and the third one, it's the same thing again, except we're dealing with sine of phi. So let's go, um, I, don't, I don't have anything special memorized about this, but I'm going to generate sine of phi and I'm going to um, and see what that equals. So sine, the definition of sine of an angle is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So sine of phi is equal to um, b over c. And again, solve for c, and we get c equals b over sine phi. So, which is exactly what we have in statement three. So that one's also true. So the correct answer must be uh, the last option.